Hey everyone, uh, happy holidays and happy new year. I am Robert Schuler with Melissa's Produce. I'm the director of public relations, but you can call me whatever you want. I am back this year. This will be my 14th year talking about the uh, industry produce trends that are coming up for 2021. Now, we have been through a lot in 2020 and there are many things that we will address when we talk about many of the exciting produce items that are up for trend this year. Some of the trends are COVID-based, I'd like to call it, since March of 2020. Some of them are value-added, plant-based, gut-based, and uh, especially organics, which we will see a tremendous trend as well as I get through the list here, because I know you guys love my top 10 lists. So let's get started here, and we're gonna go down from uh, 10, what are the top 10 specialty produce items um, as measured from January 1st, 2020 to December 11th, 2020? This is on our Melissa's proprietary produce pro system that measures sales. This is not a crystal ball. I'm not a genie to, to tell you what consumers are buying. These are actually scan data, what a consumers are buying uh, for 2020, which will trend in through 2021. Number 10, um, I mentioned that uh, organics has been a big trend. Well, number 10, and it's the first time an organic item has made the top 10 list. This is organic ginger. Organic ginger is now available year round. At one time, five years ago, it was highly seasonal. But because of the trend during COVID season, organics has seen a tremendous boost, uh, boost in sales across the board and organic ginger makes number 10. Number nine, and I'm not surprised at this trend, it is the dragon fruit. Dragon fruit are probably the most beautiful looking produce item you've ever seen. There's three different varieties. This is the most, most common variety as I cut it in half to show you the white flesh with the little black seeds. It is a mildly tasting fruit, but it's one of the most exciting that you'll find in produce departments across America. Number eight. It is our Chayuti squash. Now, Melissa's was founded on Latin produce. The Chayote squash is a Latin Hispanic staple within that community, but has been going in popularity outside the Latin uh, consumer, uh, especially in the South, Southeast where it's referred to as Merleton. It is very popular in cruel, um, Cajun and Creole dishes in the Southeast, and um, people are learning a little bit more about this. Botanically, it's a fruit, but as most people know and cook with it, it is a vegetable. Next up, number seven. And I, I was actually surprised at this, but potatoes, it is very much a comfort food. Potatoes, very much a COVID staple ingredient in kitchens across America. Now, what do you find in the gemstone potato pack? You'll find different varieties of baby potatoes from your Dutch yellow potatoes, white potatoes, to your baby purple potatoes and your baby red potatoes. It may also include ruby gold potatoes as well. And that is trend number seven. Going to number six, is our ever popular steamed and peeled beets, red. Now this item goes along the lines of trends for value added because typically to steam, to cook, clean, and steam your beets, it would usually take about 45 minutes to an hour and can be very messy. Melissa has this steamed and ready to go package in your refrigerated sections of your produce department and it matches a long line of steamed vegetables that are ever so popular. Next up, ruby gold potatoes. Now the ruby gold potatoes is one of the potatoes that you'll find in the gemstone package that I just talked about. It is a red skin variety, but when you cut it open, it is gold on the interior. And you'll, you'll find out in just a little while why, 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 why it's gold on the inside. Next up, number four, 
our steam lentils. At one time, our steam beets were more popular than the steam lentils, but now our steam lentils are even more popular. The popularity of um, meatless and uh, plant-based proteins, which legumes in themselves have a, are, are, are full of protein, and we have them steamed and ready to go, again, saving the consumer about 45 minutes to an hour getting them re um, ready to go and used in a meal. Again, that is our steamed lentils. Number two, our number two item is our baby red potatoes. This was actually one of our first varieties of baby potatoes 36 years ago, and it's still in our top 10 list. It is a red skin variety with a white flesh and ever so popular for potato salad or anything potatoes. And finally, number one, our number one item, as it's been for almost 10 years now, our baby Dutch yellow potatoes. Our baby Dutch yellow potatoes are gold on the outside. They're gold on the inside. They are a cousin to the ruby gold potatoes that I had mentioned earlier. And they are the, they are the number one selling baby potato in the United States. Why? Because this is this and the ruby gold potatoes are the only potatoes that do not green in light on the baby potatoes. All baby potatoes green if you have them out on your counter or they get sunlight or they're exposed to too much light, they will turn green on the outside. And if they turn green, they're not edible anymore. But the baby potatoes, the baby Dutch yellow potatoes, sometimes they refer to them as baby Yukon gold potatoes, but there's no such thing as baby Yukon golds. The number one specialty item in America as chosen by the American consumer are Dutch baby gold potatoes. In fact, it's so popular, we even have a book that we came out a few years ago that our whole team here at Melissa's has come out with the DYP cookbook, 150 ways to do Dutch yellow potatoes. All right, next up in terms of trends now, I'd like to talk to you about some of the seasonal trends. Now, these are items that are available only uh, a few months out of the year and they, de they deserve uh, to show trend because of the increased amount of, um, of demand in the marketplace when they become available. I'm not gonna do them in any particular order, but it will probably be based upon the seasons. First up are Melissa's Moscato grapes. We have them in both green and red. The Moscato grapes is a Melissa's exclusive, just like the Dutch yellow potatoes, as we're the only company that distributes them in the United States. What may look like a regular red grape or may look like a regular green grape, it's a little different. Looks can be deceiving, however, it, what it comes down to is taste. When you bite into these, they're actually super sweet. They bricks higher on a refractometer, meaning when you bite into them, they're much sweeter than your average grape because these grapes were crossed, uh, hybridized uh, naturally with a higher, sweeter grape, like a Muscat wine grape. And so um, look for them in your produce departments. They peak in the summertime and they're also another imported product that we find it in the winter time um, during from uh, late December all the way until about April and then they take a break and then in the summer season starting in June all the way until October you'll see the Moscato grapes even in the summertime you'll see a black Moscato grape as well another seasonal favorite and the season doesn't actually start until about um, March, and those are our pixie tangerines. Our pixie tangerines are only available from March until June. They come out of Ojai, California, the famous growing area for these fruits, and it's just something that's so delicious. Now, this is a late season variety, completely seedless, easy to peel, and super delicious. Um, they're a kid's favorite fruit. Next up, in terms of some of the exciting seasonal items that, that have been trending, um, is one of my favorite seasons for the year, and that is the Hatch Chili season out of Hatch, New Mexico. Now this season's very short. It is only available from uh, August 
until September. And actually, we actually at Melissa's have a variety of hatched items that come out during that time, like hatch clean snacks, pecans, we even do popcorn, we do polenta, but there's something really special about this chili pepper um, because it's the only chili that you can get in mild, medium, hot, and extra hot. So depending on how you like your chilies from mild to hot, you get to choose them. And then because they're such a small window for them, the neat thing is you can buy them by the case, go to a roasting, which we post on our melissas.com during the months of August and September, and check it out firsthand and get a box roasted for you. A typical box is about 25 pounds, but the neat, but the, the thing you have to figure out is, is one case enough. I've been to these hatch roastings where people have bought five cases of them, got them roasted, bring them home, prep them, put them in the freezer because they're the only chili that can actually freeze for over a year, actually two years. Most chili peppers cannot go into the freezer for more than a few months because they don't have the thick skins that these chilies do, making it a favorite of the Southwest and now here in the United States. In fact, it's so popular, we actually have a Hatch Chili Cookbook. This is volume one. This year, in 2021, in May, will be our new Hatch Chili Cookbook. Put that one in your pocket for later. Next up, um, one of the seasonal items, or what is looked upon as a seasonal item, but really isn't available seasonal, is um, our steamed, organic, peeled, and um, steamed chestnuts. Now, the chestnuts come ready to go in the package, similar to our beets and to our lentils. Um, and they're not a danger to cook because they're already cooked and ready to go in this product. So what I'm trying to say is just because they're super popular during the months of October, November, December, doesn't mean you can't work with these throughout the rest of the year because they are available year round um, and they're just a taste that can go beyond the regular season than just the holiday season. Um, next up um, is our butterscotch pears. Our butterscotch pears are basically um, what we used to refer to as Korean pears. They're a large Asian variety, Asian pear variety that are grown in South Korea, not North Korea. Hence, we call them Melissa's uh, butterscotch pears because of the flavor profiles. Now they look like an apple, but they're actually in the pear family. And the neatest thing about these is when you cut them, they do not oxidize like a regular pear. So it's a fruit that you can actually enjoy whole. In Asia, you just cut them into discs and actually the whole fruit is edible, seed and core, unlike most pears and most apples. So now you can cut them elegantly into discs, put them on a fruit tray and don't worry about them. But again, these um, butterscotch pears are only available from November until March. Now, let's go into another category of trend. And I like to call this trend some of the most unexpected trends. Now, I call it this because I literally did not see these coming. Usually there's previous years of sales that have increased on an increasing basis that lends itself to a trend. But we saw a spike in these from this year, from the previous year. And so these are very big mentionables. And I'll tell you why they've become so popular in produce departments across the country. Aloe vera. Now aloe vera is, is, is a medicinal, uh, vegetable leaf. It's actually in the cactus fruit, uh, cactus family. Um, and now you think aloe, well, I only use this for sunburns. No, it's actually edible as well. It's gel on the inside. And one of the things that it's become very popular in is water. Um, because of all the antioxidants and medicinal values it has for it as well. So next time you go to your store, you might be surprised by the amount of aloe water you'll find in the grocery department. Now you can make it yourself and control the amount of aloe that are that is in the water or can also use it as a texture in cooking as well. Next up 
And it happens to be um, uh, the um, Chinese eggplant. Now, eggplant, commonly eggplant, is large. It takes a long cooking. You have to cut off the, you have to cut off the skin. For Chinese eggplants, the trend here is that it's easier to, to work with. It has a shorter cooking time because it's long and narrow. But the neat thing is when you cook with it, you don't have to remove the skin. The skin is thin and completely edible. So once you cut it into discs or whatever, however you like to prepare eggplant, cook, saute or whatever, then you're good to go. Now eggplant, if you didn't know, is actually in the fruit family. It has seeds. It's actually a fruit because it's not eaten raw, it is looked upon as a vegetable. Next up, and this leads into value added and also plant-based. We, um, we've been doing this item for a long time, but it hasn't started trending. Now there's two trends going on here, the value added, plant-based, and also the organic trend. And we do our polenta organically. And this is a tub of organic planta that's ready to go. What makes it so easy is that you just have to cook it for a little bit to warm it up. Um, and you can just cut it into discs like so, saute it, then add some um, sun-dried tomatoes or pestos on top. And it's just a neat little appetizer. You cook about uh, three minutes on each side and it's really easy to go. If you make it really thin into like quarter inch, then the co cooking time's very short and it's a corn-based item. And you'll see a Melissa's line of polentas. There's also some other ones like the hatch. There's a sun-dried tomato one to enjoy as well. Uh, next up for most unexpected trends, um, kimchi. Now, kimchi is under our Joseon label. It's the only brand under Melissa's um, that is on our Joseon, which was going to be a whole line of, of Melissa's Asian line. However, we didn't develop it and we only put it on one item, and that's on our kimchi. Um, the kimchi comes in a jar in the refrigerated section. It's either, you can get it either hot or mild, depending on your favorite. This is a, this is a fermented fruit, um, vegetable of Napa, um, carrot, and daikon fermented. And it is, the trend has been around gut health. And um, I like to enjoy this outside because when you open it up, I'm not going to open it right now, it does give a fermented pungent smell, but it's very enjoyable and uh, staple ingredients, especially in like Korean and Asian uh, foods. Um, and one other um, trend that has been ha happening in the marketplace, and these are the larger, what you call the red papaya. Now there's many different varieties of red papaya. Um, and this is a super sweet variety. The larger is more value added because of the fact that you, it's, it's less in price and you get a bigger serving, especially if you have a bigger family. A typical papaya like that would feed about uh, three to five people. And um, I'm gonna cut it open. It, there's multiple names that are known in the marketplace. It may be known as a red papaya. It may be also known as the red Caribbean papaya, the Jamaican papaya, and the Tainung papaya. One thing's for sure, they're sweet, they're larger in size, and papaya has been used as a tenderizer and just a, a favorite ingredient in smoothies and shakes and whatnot. So give it a try if you've never had it before. Finally, our final um, uh, trends happening in the marketplace on some of our newest items that I'm gonna show you right now. And um, of course, I'm holding up what looks like a green avocado. The green avocado is called the tropical avocado. This is, an, this is a little different than your Haas avocado. They're a little larger in size. The skin is green, it will not turn black. A regular indication for an, uh, for an avocado is giving pressure. So when it gives a little softness, then you know it's ripe. How is it different from a Haas avocado? It is less oily, it has a lighter flavor, but the neat thing is it, it doesn't cost as much as your typical Haas. Um, variety of avocado. I'm just going to cut it open. As you can see, the seed is smaller on the inside. Um, and one of the trends that we've seen in the marketplace is avocado toast beyond just your guacamole and whatnot. 
And this is a great one to add a little bit of sea salt on your toast and enjoy that in the morning there. So look for those tropical uh, avocados. Next up, one of our newest items here is our, what we call the immunity booster. It contains both ginger and turmeric in one package. It's 70% ginger and 30% turmeric, two uh, herbs that are used in Asian cooking and now used in a lot of dishes beyond Asian, especially like in uh, smoothies or adding an extra flavor profile. Ginger has always been trending. Last year, turmeric trended in the meanwhile. So we decided just to put them together and um, put it into one thing. So now you'll find these immunity booster packs in your local produce department. Next up. Another value added item that we brought into the marketplace in the last year or so is hollandaise sauce. And we're known, Melissa's always been known for adding um, complementary, com complementary products um, to the produce department. To get America to eat more produce, we give them easy tips on what to do with them. For example, the hollandaise sauce, you'll find it merchandised usually by the asparagus, but you also can find it by the broccoli, cauliflower, even potatoes. It's shelf stable. It's really easy to do, especially if you don't know how to make hollandaise sauce. Um, for those who've only experienced hollandaise sauce in a restaurant, you can now experience it at home and you look for it in your local produce department. Again, that's hollandaise sauce. Um, the final trend, that we have in the marketplace now. And this uh, trend has been the, the dragon fruit. Now, I, I brought up dragon fruit earlier in the presentation as a top 10 produce items in the specialty produce, but there's different varieties of dragon fruit. The most common one is the white fleshed one. Then there's the red fleshed one. And then now, which is the trend now, are the yellow dragon fruits. The yellow dragon fruits yellow skin on the outside, not pink, and they cut with a white flesh with the little black seeds. Now these are the most sweetest of all the dragon fruit, um, as they're sweeter than most other fruits where the, the, the um, sugar content is off the scales on a refractometer, meaning that it's super sweet. Unlike your typical common dragon fruit that is very mildly sweet. And now finally, Thank you all for uh, um, tuning in to our trends report. I'm now gonna introduce you to um, one of our newest associates here at Melissa's, and he's gonna give you uh, not only the newest product uh, available produce item in America now, it is actually one of the most unique and most talked about buzzwords right now on social media. So I'm gonna have Nico come on up here and he's gonna tell you all about it. Hello everybody, my name is Nico and I'm introducing you to the pink pineapple. Have you ever heard of the pink pineapple? Well, if you follow our social media, you definitely have because we have been talking about this since we got it. And it's one of our most recent items that we've got. In fact, we're one of a select few who distributes it. So if you are looking to get a pink pineapple, you can go onto our website to check it out and it's only available online right now. So this is what it comes in. It comes in this beautiful box, which is just, it's got these pink hues and, and yellow. And um, let's talk about the pineapple because this is really the star of the show here. Nobody really has ever had a pink pineapple until this year. This is when it came out. So I'm gonna cut into it so that way you can see the color of this pineapple. And the guys upstairs, when we got this, we, we've been so excited about this pink pineapple. And I'll tell you why. It's not very acidic. Most people who don't like pineapples don't like that it's very acidic and it stays on your tongue. This pineapple doesn't do this. Now, it is pretty expensive, but it's well worth the cost. So this is what it looks like. And I can guarantee you that you've probably never eaten or seen this. This is, again, this is a first for us here. And you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and just try a little bit on camera and explain to you what I'm experiencing and what the flavor of this pineapple is like because it's really like nothing you've ever tried before. So I'm gonna take a slice and I'm just gonna go ahead and let you know how it is. 
I feel like they just keep getting sweeter. It's absolutely wonderful. So again, go to melissas.com if you would like a pink pineapple. And also too, if you didn't know this, a long time in the South, pineapple has been a symbol of hospitality. Great gift for your neighbor, right? It's holiday season and even well after the holidays, if you wanted to show a little hospitality, it's always nice to have a pineapple or gift of pineapple. That's all for us here at Melissa's. We hope you have a great day.